here we discuss about forex trading live trade chart analysis and welcome to another video so for the actually past two days i have been traveling it was quite busy for me that's why i couldn't take a video or explaining any of those things but moving forward you can expect me to put more videos and share with you guys uh, on my trading plan and also some trading um takes uh, or tips or tricks or whatsoever or whatever you can call it which will help your trading psychology in for i mean in doing trading right so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content today we'll be going through all the trades that we took past week and i'll go to my dashboard uh, go to my broker and show you guys as well like what are the trades i took and what is the result yeah so uh, let's go to trading view first so we took basically one two three um four trades right four trades is what we got uh, on past week monday we took a trade it was a loss and let's go there to monday first then we we'll work around like that then we missed the trade on wednesday tuesday we didn't have a trading opportunity so two days we didn't have a trade it was quite, quite frustrating on wednesday because the market tapped into the area late i mean this we put an order over here later actually after this particular time the initial order was over here we'll go to everything one by one don't worry so we'll discuss uh on or each trade that we took so the very first day which is let's say on monday what happened so as you can see market was mostly consolidating then after that tapped into this uh cpr you can see the cpr was getting rejected quite few times to be honest for this particular trade right when i was looking at this particular trade even for me i had a i i was like watching the market what is happening then i saw that okay in the in the asian session when the market was rejecting this area i was like okay maybe i am in the wrong side of the trade but i had a second thought but i didn't take it off and enter into the other, other side because i didn't want that because i already entered the trade based on my system right what does my system says if the market opens above cpr i am expecting the market to find a support at the cpr and trade higher so that's why i put a buy but instead what happened is market at the other way around found resistance at the cpr and trade lower so this is something which happened on monday then we lose tuesday there is no tap in cpr at all i put a trade actually at the bottom cpr over here or the cpr over here but no trades at all we put two trades but both the trades was not triggered same on wednesday quite frustrating actually wednesday was the most frustrating because we put a trade on the cpr for a short entry but the market didn't tap us market came over here found a rejection at the 50 moving average and trade lower and also the bottom cpr later i put a entry at the bottom cpr but market never came back for a retest so we missed that opportunity just quite frustrating because it is a 4 percentage this is a 4 percentage if we win that right so it's it was quite frustrating then comes the next day which was on thursday so thursday what happened in the market we took two trades what are the two trades that we take one is a rejection at the 50 moving average i mean this is not my play okay i just that's why uh, the rejection at 50 moving average i just put uh, 0.1 lot i put half the size of the normal position which i take why i don't want the same thing which happened on tuesday or wednesday to happen to me Yeah, because I don't want the market to just reject at the 50 moving average and drop without tagging me in. But it is a perfect trade. I would say this is the most perfect trade. Uh, I took on 50 moving average. Okay, I made like I mean this is not the one I am talking about. This is not a perfect trade. This is not my main system or what. I just this is my backup plan, Plan B trade, which also hit profit. So I made like two percentage on this trade. And this trade where I am risking two percent to make four percentage. This is where I made four percent. So I made six percent in this trade. and lose 2% on monday so at this point of time i am up 4% in my account for this week so it was quite nice actually uh, in a day to make 6% as especially your trading plan work out perfectly well you see the bottom cpr tapped in just like that just nice and trade lower so this is the kind of trade that i'm looking for to be honest in the market not this this one i mean this one i ended because i missed quite a few trades so i don't want it to happen but you moving forward you will not see me putting any trades when the market gets rejected the 50 moving average because it's not my trading that's not my trading plan i will have to stick to my trading plan to to get the complete result of my i mean to get the complete result of whatever i'm expecting from uh, my strategy right so the next day opens i put two trades if you remember one was rejection at the bottom cpr and rejection at the cpr so rejection at the bottom cpr is a trade which i closed when the market tapped into this one because i don't want how to say 
I don't I don't want um, I don't want to carry that much of risk because my one person is already at two percent risk. I don't want to put four percent risk uh, for my capital for one one day. I just put two percent risk and we lost two percent over here. So overall for this week we made two percent or close to two percent after the swap trading fee or whatever uh, commission and all this kind of thing we made close to two percent. So I'll go to the broker and show you guys as well. Uh, recently, if you know, I'm trading in uh, with Think Markets. Uh, so this account actually quite nice actually. I'm I'm starting to like uh, like using the web terminal so i'm placing all the trades in the web terminal i'm not using my phone anymore and it is quite cool actually uh, and i find it more easier rather than i type everything in the phone so that's why you see more of my screenshot is coming from the web terminal itself uh, on the portion server whatsoever yeah so these were the trades that we took for the uh, the week so you can see um, started with i mean this is on friday so it's not the current week this is on monday so you can see the monday this is the trade that we took on 25th hit stop loss we lose uh, two percent then you can see we won two trades uh, this is where we made 300 which is uh, six percentage because of a 5k account we made six percentage which was quite nice our account was up equity was up close to two percent and then we lose one trade which is this one as you can see there's a ten dollar loss which you can see over here this is the trade that i said on friday we ended two trades why I had a bottom CPR as well as the CPR. If just in case market didn't tap into CPR and just tap the bottom CPR and was gonna trade lower, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out a trade. So that's why I put like that. Moving forward, also I will do the same. Uh, I will put like two entries, but be very careful, okay? If the market is gonna tap into the CPR, then um, I mean, what you can do is other way you can do is the bottom CPR trade. You can put the stop loss just above the CPR. Because anyways, your CPR is going to tag in, then you are going to enter into a new trade already. So you don't want that much of a, um, you don't want that much of a risk. So this is what I will do. So I'll put a bottom CPR trade. I will go to like, I mean, let's just share with you in a, in the chart. So easy for understand. So I'll place a trade over here at the bottom CPR. This is the bottom CPR. And my stop loss will be just slightly above the top CPR, uh, the CPR itself, right? This slightly above the middle line CPR. Why? Because the market already tapping over here, I'm already inside another trade, which is having a 2% risk also. So this risk will be, most of the time, it will be a very small amount. So it's all okay for me. I mean, I can take that risk. And the new trade, I will. I like to continue that trade and hold on to the trade. If it hits SL, it hit SL, that's it. So yeah, so this these are the trades that we took and the last one, which hit stop loss. So what happened on the day, as you can see, right? Market trade above, big us out, then consolidated, came back, found the resistance at the top CPR. Sorry, support at the top CPR, then trade higher, then pff, it tanked all the way. Tank all the way. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's a very similar to most of the global markets. How it reacted is a similar way. Gold reacted the same way. So, yeah, I've been talking a lot of things, but I'm trading on gold. so only on gold. So, that's my system or trading system which I'm doing. If you want to know more about what is the trading plan or trading system which, I, which I'm following, you can watch my previous video where I'm explaining what is my trading system or trading plan that I'm using to, uh, to pass these. Funded accounts and whatsoever. Yep. So I'll go to dashboard and show you guys as well. So this is my equity. So you can see 4,974, very close. Uh, half a percent is the loss which they are showing over here. Uh, we took only four trades one, two, three, loss, one win. So that's it. Basically, this is our past week. Looks like this win rate and everything. You don't have to look now. My strategy has a back start statistical edge of 50 percent uh, win rate. So 50 percent win rate is there. 50-50. So that's why I'm putting one two. So I'll be able to pass the challenge quite easier. So I'm looking forward to next week. I'm doing the same. I'm I'm doing a systematic way of trading. This is the way I usually trade, and this is the way which works for me best. I tried to do discretionary for the past two months or so. You know already. I mean, it's just not working really well for me. So I prefer systematic way of trading, which is way way easier, less stressful. Don't have to look into the charts. Let let the trade do the thing by itself, right? So this is the account, this is the account in which I am trading right now, this is the uh, same account, Think Markets, uh, 5k rapid charge for the funder trader. So this is the account I am trading right now as well. And no no positions or holding anything, nothing. So Monday we will take the first trade. Uh, I am looking for a short, I mean quite obvious, I mean you can see over here the market has had a sell off. So obviously what I am looking for is, if uh, the bottom CPR is somewhere around over here, I am going to place a trade. I mean I will be happy to ha see a bottom CPR. Um, with the same closer to the 50 moving average that will be the perfect one i will place a 
sell limit order over here and the market will and my, my expectation will be market to tap in over there and um, trade lower so that will be the trade i'm looking for on monday it will be a sell entry so basically that's it guys that's for today that's the thing i want to discuss for this particular video i'll be posting one more video where i'm going to explain you guys on one um, trading exercise that you can follow to improve your trading system or improve your trading psychology so that one will be the next video until then trade safe